I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. I do some dumb things. And the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. We're still running. Let's go. just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. Hold on. You gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me? No, I did. What is up YouTube and welcome to this Ant-Man and the Wasp trailer breakdown. This came as somewhat a bit of a surprise to me as I've just finished uploading my Supergirl video and I saw that this had actually been released. Uh, well, yeah, quite big that this has been released and the Black Panther reviews have come out on the same day so Marvel is dominating the news cycle today. So we start off with the trailer we're just zoning, and I'm guessing that's uh, some sort of San Francisco skyline there. And what we actually see here is we see Wasp kind of pestered a bit there by Scott Lang as he asks that would you have come and helped us out in Berlin, which he says, well, maybe, but you wouldn't have got caught. Yeah, that makes uh, makes all kind of sense there. As you will remember, in Civil War, we had Scott Lang join Team Cap, and then, well, the rest is Civil War history, as the team are actually captured and sent to the raft. However, in the recent Infinity War prologue comic, they are actually released by Captain America, so they are released... But of course, he is completely on the wrong side of the law here. And they are on the lamb. They are on the run from the authorities. So it's not looking good at all for Scott Lang and Hank Pym. They're kind of team and man, I guess. But we do see clips here of him with the FBI. And it does look like he's seeing his daughter as well. So it's unclear as to how much he is on the wrong side of the law. I'm not too sure if these would be flashbacks to just before or just after the first Ant-Man where he went straight and just before Civil War. But the group do have a really, really cool thing here where they actually shrink an entire building. So they shrink an entire building and, well... They, they pick it up like it's a suitcase, which is really, really funny. And they are dealing with the shrinking tech and the, the kind of now growing tech a hell of a lot more. So they're using or able to use this in a few more interesting ways, to be honest. So the pair and Hank Pym are actually on the run. Hopefully we'll learn more of Hank Pym's history in this. I really do hope so. Hope we learn more about janet van dyne as well but we do know that she is in the quantum realm and well i expect that doctor strange will somehow be involved with this and able or help her get out of this in some way because those two films are connected by the quantum realm now we do briefly we briefly see here the villain of the film and that is ghost now ghost is a kind of i would say into a kind of espionage villain person in the comics ghost was played by a man who kind of went evil when his wife or his girlfriend was actually killed 
and was a real model employee until this actually happened. And he was actually hired to take down Iron Man. He did fight Iron Man and things like that. So he's actually more of an Iron Man villain, to be honest. So I'm kind of expecting that the people who kind of few people who want the pin particle for themselves as we saw in the first one the pin particle is quite well known well i'm expecting that ghost is possibly being used to get that from hank pym as well so we also see lawrence fishburne who is in this will be playing black goliath also known as dr william barrett foster so it's not clear what the connection between these two actually is but Black Goliath is possibly actually more of a kind of hero taking on the role of Giant Man as well. So it, maybe they're changing this a bit. And we did have Black Goliath was able to memorize the Pym Particle as well. So it does seem like they are moving more towards the Pym Particle history or kind of espionage here in this movie. Now what is really weird, we actually see the pin particle like i mentioned being used in the car chase scene which looks stunning and using the kind of the powers and all the sort of growing and degrowing <laughs> is looks really cool and what's weird is all, a lot of these people the villains in this movie seemingly have really cool cars like hot wheels style cars which is really really strange but we're looking more into this and it's going to be more of scott lang dealing with his kind of his powers and his life after civil war a lot like good old spider-man in spider-man homecoming where he just goes back to reality just like iron man did in iron man 3 but the wasp here looks absolutely badass and i love the fact that hang pym has actually given his daughter all the best weapons considering he didn't want her to become the wasp at all well he's actually given her blasters and wings and really really cool stuff and scott's well incredibly jealous but i expect this not to have too much tie in into the wider mcu we might have references just like the first one didn't have too much references we did have a flashback in shield but it probably won't have the sort of major connections like spider-man did with iron man and things like that it would just be a kind of an insular story just like the previous one but the black panther reviews are out as well and they are incredibly incredibly positive and the film is getting universal praise as well which does sound really cool i'm super excited to see that movie and i will be doing a video on that although ant-man and the wasp is out almost a month later here in the uk which is really different to the usual fare where we get it first so well think yourself lucky america but that is it please drop a like please do subscribe and i'll see you soon goodbye